This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I've just finished a very busy weekend doing a bunch of interviews over the KSI Fight Week. I'm joined straight away by Nick Lomeo over Zoom. It's good to see you. We have some exciting news on the weekend that you're fighting Jay Swingler over here in the UK in just over a month's time. You looking forward to it? I, I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm, 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 this is an opportunity that I've been like dreaming about since I was a kid because I, I followed this boxing stuff since uh, Joe Weller and um, Theo Baker. So like, this is like, this is like my childhood, just my childhood self could see myself now. They'd be like, oh my God. So yeah, this, this is awesome for me. So you're an OG then you kind of followed all the events up until this one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I kind of, like, fell off when they started doing, like, chess boxing and, like, all these things. But I do think it's really cool, and it's awesome that the space is growing. But, yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely more of, like, an OG. Love, love the uh, the whole lore behind YouTube boxing. Mm, certainly. I think everyone does. Because I always say that if two people are fighting on the street and you're driving past, and you have no idea who these two people are, you're going to watch it because you kind of want to see what happens. Let alone two celebrities or well-known people are fighting – we're going to want to watch even more because you're going to see a celebrity kind of live and up close and they're fighting. The song's ears on the line. Someone's going to might get beat. So 100%. 100%. Um, but did you, just watch, did you watch the fights this past weekend with KSI, Face Temper? I, I was actually, it was, I was training. I was doing some pool exercises. I had my phone set up. Uh, I was watching it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, a, it was an amazing event. I missed the Pineda walkout, which I'm so <laughs> sad about, but I saw, I saw the clips in it. <laughs> Is on TikTok today, <laughs> on TikTok today, it's all Pineda. It's all KSI. Yeah. I've seen more clips of Pineda than KSI. It's funny. I know the, the memes are just so golden. <laughs> I think I love that kind of the aspect. I, they kind of go in the WWE route, and kind of the surprise, yeah. stuff like that. Kind of like the Except it's real, which is <laughs> makes it like you get the entertainment, but there's actual there's actually something on the line, which is really awesome. Mm, certainly, I mean, obviously, halfway through the show, Jay Swingler's on stage with Ade one of the zone presenters i think it's todd christian as well and they announced your fight how do you feel about the fight coming up and how did it get made of jay well honestly i think jay it, me and jay I, I respect jay don't get me wrong i think he's a tough opponent and i'm not undermining him whatsoever but i think there's two types of people in this world uh he was looking for an easy opponent a warm-up fight that's even how he's selling it even his own fans are saying like what are you doing me on the other hand it's like i've been thrown in the deep end like this is completely out of my my circle of what i even do and i'm actually really happy with that because i think it's more reflective of how i am as a person i love to take risks i love the challenge and i think i've got everything to gain here no no one expects anything of me no one knows anything of me so it's 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 actually really fun for me i think this is going to be the biggest underdog upset in misfits history ever Definitely be exciting. I'm sure Jay's kind of getting amped up to it. I know he's been training quite hard in the gym. But do you have any previous boxing or combat sport experience before this? Uh, when I was seven, I did Taekwondo. There we go. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> well, I did. I, I, I've um because I followed this from when I was younger. I was very into it in terms of like you know like I'd go to the gym and do like my own thing nothing serious i've been training seriously with my my coach uh coach adon who's uh logan's old uh trainer logan paul right. um and we've been going hard since september before i knew I, if i had a fight before i was with happy punch before i talked to mams anything i was already training because i was like i want this and you know um so yeah I, i've been going hard it's not the longest amount of time but it, it's definitely my 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 skill set is very unique. Jay isn't sparring anyone that fights like me. So I think that will give me a very big advantage over him. So I remember I was saying you started training in September and then up until now, that's correct. Yeah, w with the exception of like, I'll take a little bit of a break on Christmas because yeah. I didn't know about this <laughs> Everyone fight. does, everyone does. If I know, if I knew about this fight, I, I was, I would have been training all the time but yeah uh I, i've i've been training pretty consistently whilst doing youtube at the same time uh so it's it's, it's not easy but i've i've been doing it is that difficult that balance so no child is when jay's last one he did that balance and he found it quite difficult i think jay's kind um, of in the youtube put on hold and he's focusing on his boxing career I, here's the thing and it's the first thing i said to man just like look i love this boxing stuff but i don't want to box people that aren't youtubers because i'm a youtuber 
Yeah, I'm not going sense. there to 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 box fighters. I'm there to box YouTubers. Um, so I I I respect people that have a similar mindset or work ethic to me that are willing to make it work. Like right now, after this, I'm gonna go film a video. Then I gotta go hit the gym, and then I gotta do recovery. You know, so it's like you just gotta just be in that grind. You know, it's it's not easy, but it's 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 worth it. Mm. You say you got quite an interesting style. You self or orthodox? How do you want to box? Uh, I'm orthodox. I definitely have the capabilities of switching. I think it will uh, catch him off guard if I do it. I don't know. I I, I think I, I I wish I could just fast forward to see when he gets in there and he's like, all right, easy fight, first round KO. And then I start jabbing him and he can't get in. And he's like, and, and just watching his whole game plan crumble because he's underestimating me and looking past me, which which is what his downfall is going to be. He said, and I don't know, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but he said, like, realistically, he wants an easy fight. Why is he not fighting Kenny or Saul Poppy or something? He's holding a belt and he's fighting someone who's never boxed before. He's, he's he doesn't he doesn't have that. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, he's 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 scared. He's scared to box people. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm not doing this for the money. Not doing it for the clout. I'm doing it solely, solely because I want to do it. And that's the difference I think between him and I. Is this like a one-time thing for you, like one fight thing? Do you think to continue this? How's it going to work in the future? Do you reckon? No. When I, when I, when I get the upset, I think I got to call someone out. And and my goal is to to get like four fights in this year and be on that uh, KSI Jake Paul undercard. That's my goal. And then retire <laughs> undefeated after a year. I guess the KSI Jake Paul card, that's that's definitely a big one. I mean, any factor or any YouTube boxer is definitely going to be on, want to be on that one. But you'll be coming over to the UK for this fight. It's in Milton Keynes, which not a lot of people in the UK have heard of, but it's a good arena. It definitely will sell out. I think the capacity is about, about 5,000. So 100% will be loud in there. So what what you really want. Um, have you been to the UK before, though? Oh, I, li- I lived in uh, London for six, seven months. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Yeah. Where about? I, what? Whereabouts did you? Where are you based? Shoreditch. Shoreditch. I oh, was, yeah, I know Shoreditch. Yeah. Yeah. I always used to see the sidemen filming. They they film in front of my apartment and stuff. Uh, Chris M D came and viewed my apartment once when he was shopping around in London before COVID. It was it was a cool area. Everyone was everyone was there. Were you doing YouTube at that time? Yeah. Well, YouTube's really been the last year and a half for me. Everything pretty much. So yeah, I was I was trying it, but it was. It, it it's taken off in the last year and a half. But you so a year and a half ago, how many subscribers are you on? Because you're on twenty million right now. A year and a half ago, I probably had three hundred k. Wow. Well, that, yeah. So what? What did you do to change that? That's incredible. That's insane. We we me and my my roommate we pioneered the uh, shorts game. So we've influenced a lot of uh, shorts, which I I know a lot of uh we we appeal to a younger audience. So going into this boxing thing, I'm getting violated by the the uk boxing uh audience which i respect them because like i watched all the logan and jake fights when they're throwing peyton cans at at people so i i get it i definitely i'm i'm more scared of the people watching the fight than of jay like <laughs> you know the uk does not play around at all yeah i always find i always find it quite funny when everyone says or well, maybe from america or other countries so they think oh yeah it's everyone's really posh in the uk and it's all really nice well set up but it's like completely opposite. Oh, it's yeah. funny. Um, but for YouTube Shorts, are they they more, can you monetize those now? Have YouTube got February? They- when is it? February. It's so it's first of Feb, then it's monetized YouTube Shorts. Yeah. So I'm really, if anything, I'm probably going to be losing money on this fight, realistically, because it was I didn't care about the money. Whatever the first offer they gave me, I was like, sure. The amount I spent on my trainer, flying them around, and you know, recovery, gyms, equipment, vitamins, everything. And then uh, and then I'm going to be missing out on so much content I could be making right now. Because, like, I go hard. I work every day. But now it's, you know, hard to balance filming every single day and working out. So it's it's. I hope this event is really worth it. I think it'll be fun. I think you got to look at it from the angle of, like, all these churlers, he thought Jay was looking at last time. And not many people in the UK had heard of churlers. I hadn't heard of churlers. But now yeah. in the UK, because he fought Jay, have heard of Chandler's. So I yeah. guess it's quite a good opportunity for you to expand your UK audience. 
Definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I do really want to break out into this YouTube boxing scene, uh, regardless of the outcome of the event. I think I think no matter what, win, lose, knockout, stoppage, me, him, I think no one after that fight is going to be saying, yeah, this guy is a bum that's, you know, just in it for the club. Like, people will see the work I put in. They really will. So I, I, am, I am very excited for that. And I, I hope the, the boxing scene can uh, be a bit more welcoming to me after that i'm sure we'll find out but nick you, i thought you spoke really well on here so that's perfect that's a good few minutes you've gone here I'm, i'll see you fight week when there gets a little bit of chaos non there's a difference between a normal boxing fight week and then a youtuber boxing or misfits boxing fight week yeah. so misfits do go quite crazy a lot of unexpected stuff does tend to happen so you, the camera's always on 24 <laughs> 7 and that sort of thing but i do appreciate you coming on here what video have you got to go and film now what do you got over the rest um, of it? I'm actually getting ready to start making videos where I just violate Jay. Uh, so I'm just, I've been ordering like fat suits and bald caps. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be, you're just going to have a little fun with it. Well, it's good. It's promotion. It's promotion for the fight, which is yeah, good. Exactly. But uh, the, the, your undercard, I've heard, I've, I've heard a few names on the, on the undercard. It is quite a good card. You'll be main eventing. So it will be very, very good. But I'll put your YouTube link and Instagram link. In the description, but I appreciate you coming on. I'm sure I'm sure I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.